Go ahead. Okay. Hello. Is there honey. a red light? <laughs> yes, there's a red light. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Tracy. I am a mother of four kids and one dog. We got a dog last Christmas. His name is Cordy. He's a yellow lab, and oh, we love Julia. him very much. Mm. <laughs> um, we're expats, so we went home for the summer. What are expats, though? We are expatriates. It means we come from another country. We're living in Switzerland, oh. but we come from another country. Okay. This okay. summer, we came home from okay. our home leave trip, and the, the lady that we boarded Cordy with uh, let us know she had taken him to the vet, her vet in Bern, because his cheek had gotten quite swollen and she was concerned about it. So... Her vet said not to worry. He wasn't in any pain. He probably had an abscess, and it could be taken care of quite easily when we got back. So that's what we did. When we got back, we took him to the clinic here and, again, just assumed it was something wrong with his tooth because he does eat everything. But as we started checking off and eliminating the things that it could be, the chance of Cordy having a tumor was starting to become a reality. So, unbelievably, we decided to have a CAT scan, and the very next day he had a CAT scan, which is just amazing. And through that CAT scan, um, we found out that Cordy did have a mass. He had something growing, and we needed to find out what it was, and it was important, no matter what it was, that it needed to come out. So, um, so essentially, what I'm here to say is that from the time that we found out that Cordy had a tumor to Cordy being completely recovered from it is less than a month. He had his CAT scan one week, and then I think it was a week or ten days later, he had surgery. <clears throat> And the really amazing thing is, is that we were already going to this clinic with Cordy because we live very close by. But it turns out that this clinic is the only clinic in all of Europe that does this one procedure that Cordy received. So Cordy had major surgery. He was under anesthesia all day long, and he came out of it and wanted to play because I don't, it's just amazing to me. I'm, it's just it's just crazy how amazing it was. Um, he had a dye injected the day before the surgery so that the vet would be able to tell where the tumor was when he was going in and hopefully get all of it. So it made the surgery more successful. And when we went to pick up Cordy the next day, you could tell, obviously, he just had surgery, but he was ready to play. He had the big collar on his head, but he was running around the house, crashing around like nothing had happened. He, he was shaved, and we had, he had tubes out of his, coming out of his cheek. Right over here. And so we had, to, we had to keep that clean, and we had to keep his incision Julia! clean. Julia! We had to keep his incision clean, but otherwise, he was the same Cordy. He never had any pain at all. And the biggest pain for him was the fact that he had to stay inside and not go run around outside because the dye that was injected caused him to be extremely sensitive to light. So I'm just here to say that we have Cordy because of this clinic, because of Dr. Omabu, and I highly recommend him, and I highly recommend if you have the option to do this surgery because Cordy has not been in any pain whatsoever and I'm quite confident that we have Cordy because we were at this clinic. That's all I wanted to say. That end, Caleb. And now to know who made this video. <laughs> Me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Okay. Yay!